So I got a phone call from the Osterville Library. I'm laying out on the deck Saturday afternoon. And I'm thinking, oh, geez, what did I not bring back? And, oh, I must have forgot something. And they're like, you won the raffle for the car. Went, oh, my God, you're freaking kidding me. I couldn't believe it. So I have my car. And let, let me tell you my car story. So I get T-boned in Osterville, coming back from church, whatever. <laughs> so I needed a totally, yes, I won the car. <laughs> so I have no car and my daughter is a teacher and she's with me so she had just sold her a little Corolla, a little teacher's Corolla two weeks before because we didn't need the car so now I got no car so now I won a car it's unbelievable so I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it or I have four kids, you know, teacher, state trooper, town police officer, works, you know, all public service. And one of the, my oldest boy just had a baby. And guess what he needs? A decent car. He's not getting it for nothing though. So I'm gonna sell the car to him. He doesn't know this yet. So I'll probably sell it to him for his new family and everybody will be happy. Thanks to the library. I love libraries. Libraries will go on forever. They're good for everybody. I was a library trustee for 10 years in Abington before I moved down here, Washer Shore. So libraries, oh God, the great equalizer. You go in, everybody gets the same stuff. Everybody's on an even plane. It's such a great opportunity. The resources, the staff, they're always wonderful. They're, they haven't been a mean librarian. They're all fantastic. I, I just I just cannot say enough about libraries. And I just consider myself lucky. I am so lucky. And I want to thank everybody at the library for this. And I'm just a huge Osterville Library supporter. And I hope you all are too.